Good evening, YouTubers. Reloading Bench back with you once again. And tonight's video, unintended video, is the what I'll call the capstone to my 6.5 Creedmoor process. As you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff in front of the bench here, or on the bench, not quite in front of the bench. And I'm going to call tonight's video Making Lemonade with Lemons. And this all started, where's my phone? This all started over the weekend when uh, it started on a Thursday night uh, messaging a seller who had some powder I was looking for. Powder for the 6.5 Creedmoor, uh, Hodgdon 4350, uh, a sweet spot powder, a powder that I have never used before that I thought I had, but, you know, again, checked inventory, and uh, I don't have any 4350. And, uh, in fact, I don't have any powder that is uh, targeted at uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, so I knew I'd be searching for some. And 4350, whether it's IMR or Hodgdon, uh, accurate arms AA4350 seems to be available online but didn't didn't know what I want to do in that space so uh, I found uh, somebody local on the forums that uh, was selling some Hodgdon and IMR4350 so I pinged them assuming it's a man and uh, said hey can we uh, can I pick up a few pounds and he was selling them at 50 bucks a pound which I hate that price but you know I, I used to buy powder $20 a pound back in the day but we're not in back in the day, and considering what just happened in Texas, I think things are going to get a lot more uh, scarce and more expensive. Uh, we are not out of the woods with uh, all this uh, fear factor. But uh, in any case, uh, we didn't connect. We, we connected uh, off and on messaging, and timing-wise, we just didn't uh, just didn't make it. So I reached out to him. Uh, uh, was it last night or? Uh, later this afternoon can't remember all the days go into one anyway reached out and said hey if you want to try and do this again here's my number text me well he pings me at just it was right before the end of the work day and uh, I'll read you the exact message which is kind of interesting uh, he says hello this is so-and-so from so-and-so uh, so-and-so being his name and so-and-so being the form I just noticed your message but I can be, I don't know why I said but, uh, I can be at the location in about 40 minutes if you're still around. So that location, and considering it's after 5 o'clock, rush hour, for me, it would take probably 30 minutes. Uh, for him, probably about the same thing, only he said about 40. So I'm like, okay. And I said, that can work. I'll take three pounds of Hodgdon, not IMR, but Hodgdon 4350. For 150 bucks and then I said correct making sure we're all in line with price and quantity he said correct I said cool see you there he says I'm gonna be he responds immediately with I'm gonna be on my street bike so I won't be able to answer my phone but I'm on my way that's when I left the house uh, I got to the uh, agreed-upon location uh, I got there in about 25 minutes so I knew I'd be waiting a while um, and he said, I forgot to mention, or at least I saw another subsequent test, text, I forgot to mention I have a bunch of primers for $50 per thousand, if you're interested at all. Thanks again. And I responded with, hey, I'm inside the location that we agreed on, which is a LGS, local shop. That was uh, at, uh, like I said, uh, oof, probably 5.30ish. Or so give or take a few minutes again I wasn't worried about the time because I knew he was coming from a little bit of distance but I also knew because he was on his motorcycle he'd be weaving and he'd probably be speeding so uh, at 542 you know I've been in the store they've asked me a few times so can we help you with anything I'm, no I'm just I'm waiting for somebody they were thinking I'm gonna do a transaction and whatnot and uh, just being casual with the folks it wasn't that busy uh, a couple customers here and there uh, and it was towards the end of the day this particular shop is open till 7 p.m. So I'm like, cool. And it's hot as hell out. So I was taking advantage of the air conditioning. And uh, uh, I even said, hey, I'm inside such and such store taking advantage of the AC. So at 542, he texts me and says, okay, running a little behind. 
had to wait for my girl to get home to watch our daughter, but I'm hauling out there now. About 20 minutes. Thanks and sorry for the delay. See you soon. So uh, my first thought was, okay, MFR, you knew I was in the store when, uh, or rather, you were still at home when I was in the store saying I'm here now. Um, so that was at 542. Uh, then I started, and in between, you know, the text and wait, walking around, I did some eye shopping in the store, and I noticed this particular armor's wrench, and I thought, hey, this is kind of cool. It's thick, like the Magpul, and it's half the price of the Magpul. And I looked online, and it got decent reviews, and I thought, you know, I could probably do that. You know, why why not uh, turn a bad situation into a little more positive? So I'm thinking, maybe I'll pick this up. And then I happened to be looking uh, behind the counter, or rather leaning over the counter, because I saw a bunch of these bags, three rows. Obviously, each row is a different caliber. And I, c I could only make out the middle caliber, uh, 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 338 Lapua. And the reason this shape looked very familiar, notice mine on the right, is uh, this magazine is a ridiculously expensive magazine from Accurate Mag. And this is the original 300 Winchester Magnum that ships with the um, Savage 110. And uh, I got this about 10 years ago, and every once in a while I say, yeah, I need to find one of these. So I look online, uh, they're, you know, eBay, everywhere you go, they're either unavailable or overpriced. And these are over $100 plus. Uh, and then you're going to pay shipping and tax and all that good stuff. So uh, when I asked what the, the magazine size was, he said, yeah, it's 300 Winchester. I'm like, will that fit a Savage? He said, yeah, it's made for a Savage. And I'm familiar with MDT. It's a good brand. Um, aside from the... You know the markings different markings uh, but essentially and i put you know i took this out of my bolt action and i tested this and it works fine so i thought to myself uh, by this time it was about 6 15. so you know mr 540 i'll be there in 20 minutes is now another 15 minutes late so i said to myself you know what i'm gonna make some lemonade with these lemons so i uh i told the guys hey what will you do cash for both? Uh, and again, these were over $100 uh, from uh, the, uh, the Savage brand, the Accurate brand. And uh, he gave me everything for a buck twenty out the door. And I'm like, all right, I'll take that. So I, I pulled out my cash, my powder cash, and uh, I did the transaction. And what was funny is by this time, we, I was joking with the guys uh, behind the counter saying, you know, this dude's going to walk in right now because I've spent all my cash that I was going to pay him for the powder on some goodies. So I went ahead and I took a picture of the receipt. Uh, they actually gave me a highlighter. I highlighted the time, uh, the timestamp. Uh, it was actually 617 and uh, highlighted it, took a picture of it. And uh, as I was uh, getting ready to head out, he's like, uh, I forget what we were saying. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this dude and his powder. And they asked me, well, what powder were you going to get? And I told them, I'm just going to get some Hodgdon 4350 for 6.5 Creedmoor. He's like, really? 6.5 Creedmoor? Let me check. He comes out of the back of the, uh, you know, area of the shop with this unopened, brand new, eight-pound jug of Winchester Stabol. Uh, it's a stabilized powder. It's actually a ball powder um, for 4350. And it's specifically ideal for 6.5 Creedmoor. So I thought to myself, all right, I know powder has been going for roughly $50 a pound, if you can even find it. You know, all the normal powders that would be, uh, you know, an eight pounder would be 225 to 250 uh, are unobtainium on the normal, you know, uh, Mid-South Shooter, Graf and Sons, uh, Powder Inc., uh, Powder Valley, rather, PowderValleyInc.com, uh, Bass, uh, Cabell, everywhere. You can't get powder. Uh, or you can get some weird powder. Um, but I couldn't find any uh, IMR H4350. So I thought, you know what? This is, I like Winchester brand powder. My favorite is WST for 45. This, since it's ideal and made for 6.5 Creedmoor, it's eight pounds. That'll yield, you know, 1,400 plus bullets uh, that I would never shoot. Uh, I can also use this for 300 Winchester. 
300 Winchester. So there's a little theme going on here. And uh, I thought to myself, I'm going to pick that up. So I asked, all right, how much is the powder? And he goes over and he's playing with the calculator. And blah, 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 blah. I can give it to you for X, Y, Z. And I thought to myself, okay, I was expecting, you know, $50 times eight is 400. And it was slightly over that, half of that. So uh, slightly over the two mark. And I thought I was going to pay a buck 50 for three pounds of Hodgden 4350. I can get two and a half times that, almost three times that, you know, for a third more money. And I said, sold. So uh, made the transaction, took another picture of my receipt, uh, this time with the powder. And then I left and I was back home. Uh, obviously, reverse traffic, reverse uh, rush hour traffic, so it wasn't bad. But I got home about 6.45. And as I was at home, I got uh, another uh, text that says, um, Hey, I'm at the Taco Bell. Uh, that's not where we agreed to meet. That's uh, three miles away from where we agreed to meet. And I said, Hey, I'm at home now. Uh, you said at 5.40, you're 20 minutes out. So at 6.17, I spent all my powder cash at the store. So the trip wasn't a total waste of time. And then I showed him the picture of the receipt with all of this, not the powder. Because at that time, uh, I had only bought this. And then I even said, I highlighted the timestamp so you could see. And he said, yeah, sorry, there was a lot more traffic than I thought. So you don't want me to come to Home Depot? I'll do all three for a buck twenty for your inconvenience, and I'm like, okay. So now we're moving over to Home Depot again. Uh, that's uh, probably about twenty minute drive for me, and uh, I said, uh, responded with uh, the the LGS has all my powder cash. Uh, to his reply, okay, thank you. So kind of done. Um, and where I'm going with this is, in this day, uh, the people with the goodies, in this case, the dude with the powder, thought he could just jerk anybody around. Um, you knew you weren't leaving your house when you told me you're on your way. You should have said, Hey, I, I got to watch my daughter until my honey bunch comes home and then I'll meet you. I'm like, Hey, that's fine. That's cool. Uh, I'm flexible. This didn't have to be a now thing, but you yanked my chain and had me waiting, uh, for the equivalent of an hour and you still hadn't shown up. Uh, so, uh, like I said, I turned the lemonade or I turned the lemons into lemonade. So I now have enough powder meant for 6.5 Creedmoor to reload all my 6.5 Creedmoor. So we are in business. Plus, I've been looking for one of these off and on for 10 years because having just one magazine for your bolt action 300 Winchester is no fun because, uh, you know, while one of, uh, if you go with a, a partner or two, while they're shooting, you can reload and then uh, step up to the plate and uh, start shooting again, as opposed to uh, only having one magazine ever for your rifle. So that was awesome. And uh, again, this was a uh, cool pick-me-up in terms of uh, an AR wrench, because if you saw my AR wrench, uh, it is quite janky and about uh, less than half this thick. I could probably bend it if I was angry. So this turned out to be a win, uh, again. A uh, lot of uh, attitude with, uh, yeah, I got the goodies and you'll just wait for me because you have to. So I'm going to charge you whatever I want. I'm going to make you wait as long as I want. And, uh, you know, uh, the only way to uh, change folks who do that kind of shit is to uh, to deny. So uh, he was denied. Uh, denied a couple times in terms of, uh, yeah, I'm gone. Uh, but, yeah, I'm here now. I'm gone. Uh, well, how about I give it to you at a discount? I'm gone. So you can go back home and spend your gas money on, uh, you know, not as much gas as a car as on a bike, but still you came down here for nothing because you jerked me around and uh, my money's gone and it went to a good use. Uh, I helped a, a local shop out. They hooked me up with a great price. They had some stuff I've never seen at local shops, usually only an online product. And they gave me online pricing for uh, what I did pick up. So uh, that was a win in my book. And now we have powder four six five creed more all good lemonade gang lemonade